Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. It is time to go for some more build requests. Somebody was asking for a Marauder and that Marauder should run three rotary autocannons as well as small lasers and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. I'm always saying yes to Marauders because they are so cool. I love them, they are one of my favorite mechs and they bring some good firepower to the table. Now, let me take a look at this here. We have triple rotary autocannons on the right side torso on the Marauder 3R. The cool thing is that everything is high mounted, everything is at cockpit level and if you can see your enemies there's a big chance that you can also shoot them so go ahead spin up that rotary autocannon and just go for it we also have a good range on them which means we can engage early we can engage often the drawback however is that we need some time to actually deliver the damage so it's a damage over time build but on the other side the marauder is actually pretty good at absorbing damage in return because of its amazing silhouette let me quickly show you that when we go over here you can see um, the torso section is um, kind of divided by left side torso or actually right side torso center torso and left side torso and if we ever get damage to the right side torso we're just gonna wiggle our nose a little bit and all of a sudden you cannot really see it that much anymore that's pretty cool and then wiggle it around if we get too much damage to the left side torso and this is how you spread the damage all over your mech and just absorb it to all of the components using all of your armor and not only the big central portion which uh, ultimately leads in your destruction and that's really cool i really like marauders for that great brawling silhouette of course if you're getting targeted from the side there is no twist but but again, this guy engages from the front directly towards the enemies and it's perfect, it's really good. The Bushwhacker is kind of similar to that, so you can take the Bushwhacker as well. The cool thing about the Marauder, though, is that we have a 75-ton in a sphere heavy mech, and that allows us to actually put a good chunk of cooling into this thing. And, um, yeah, it doesn't really run that hot, although running all the rocks here. We have four small lasers, extended range small lasers even, for our support weapons that help when enemies are closing in, when we are kind of getting pushed, or when we have to move with the team to support, and then all of a sudden a brawling situation unfolds, and uh, we have to defend ourselves and getting that little bit of extra burst of damage out there. On top of that, Light engine, light engine 300 gets us to 64.8 kph. I would say that's kind of a sweet spot for a 75 ton mech. And we also have a targeting computer that helps us with a bit of zoom, bit of projectile speed, and of course critical chance. Now let's take a look at the skills before we dive into the games here. And as you can see, we have invested into magazine capacity and enhanced UAC and rock jam duration or ramp down. That thing is really helpful because it makes it so that, you know, you ramp down your rocks quicker and so that you can start firing again. So what we are doing here, we are firing or engaging in bursts. We're gonna spin up the barrels until they get the jam chance and then just get it down again and then we engage again and while we are getting it down we will cool, we will reposition, we will try to get into a different uh, position. I was skipping cooldown mostly uh, as much as I can. Sometimes I have to just take the notes in order to get to the desired notes but cooldown doesn't help your rocks and the rocks are kind of the main weapons. The small lasers are not really not really that interesting to skill any kind of cooldown for them. Velocity helps, that's good. I'm gonna put one point here and then we have... Uh that point down here, um, and that's just because it makes it easier to trace your targets if they are moving with the, with the trail of bullets that you are throwing at them. As I was saying earlier, this thing will probably uh, absorb a bit of damage because we have to stare down our enemies, and therefore I'm going with maximum skeletal density and maximum armor hardening, so we can just uh, shoot as long as possible and absorb and return. We also have maximum cool run, almost maximum heat containment. We got a 60% rate of deprivation, even a point into seismic sensor here, which is not all that helpful. I think usually you should go for both or nothing at all, but I had that one spare point over that I didn't know where to put it anyway. And then there is a double cool shot plus a UAV in the consumable slot. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Grimplexes, we are playing Assault, and we are probably just going up on the high ground here, getting to the Fox 6 area, trying to shoot every enemy that is uh, popping up in the Fox 8 area, and uh, having a good time. Problem is that we need to stare down our enemies. Uh, range is okay, though, from here. We have uh, about 600 meters range, and this is kind of 800 meters, as you can see. But again, if you have, uh, or if we have enemy peekers around that might shoot PPCs or gals at us, uh, then we wouldn't be able to really retaliate over time because that. Oh, that's what we need to do. There was a guy down there. Also, I want to hug this. Uh, they are making a push towards Echo Seven. I saw two people coming over there. Okay, can we? Oh, there we go. I see you, buddy. Oh, this poor guy. I don't know. I cannot see him anymore because of my own muzzle flash. <laughs> but we got some good damage in. So let's fall back. We have a lot of long range, seemingly. There he is again. 
Uh, yeah, and that's that's just not good. I'm gonna try to peek around the other side. Let's see. My people are making kind of a move toward the front line. Hello, mister. Just trying to hit the center of this rectangle. That's what I can do, or can try. So, yeah, people are moving. Uh, it seems like we are pretty aggressive. I didn't even... I mean, maybe my people dis uh, misunderstood me. I wasn't calling a push. I was, you know, calling that the enemies are pushing in that direction. All right, people are trying to get behind us. Let me let me try to get the high ground here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too high because I don't want to expose myself to what's going on there on the right side, right next to me. Okay, let's put a UAV and then go for that. And then we're going to just rack it down here. Ramp it down. Ramp down the racks. That's what we do. Cool. We got some great damage in. Racks are basically ready again. Oh, no. Um, I cannot decide. That was bad. Bad me. Bad me. I thought my people were actually going in, but that was a... Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, I, I thought I saw some movement. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, in my periphery, but that was not going forward. We have our Mad Cat going up there, though. We gotta help him out. Let's go. Let's do it. He is uh, seemingly pretty aggressive. Is it a B? It's a death strike. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm going to try to support him. Oh, Godsman, Godsman. Ooh. What's going on there? Look at this guy. Just trying to suppress them. That's a lot of enemies. Ooh. Hi. Hi, Atlas. How are you? Looking good, huh? Going to try to rock you down again. I took a big hit to my side. And we got to pull back. Everybody's just trying to get out of this. This UAV is glorious. It's gold. Um, I'm stuck. So, oh, that's that's an enemy UAV. We're gonna take it. Why me? I'm stuck again. I'm trying to just defend myself. Uh, oh, it's that thing. Oh no. Yep, 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 yep. I, I'll take that. Echo, echo. Ooh, the missiles are strong today. Holy crap. Wow, on our side as well as on the enemies. What is that UAV mayhem there? Okay, let's take those. Uh, once more because we don't have the range. All right, so UAV's down. That's important. Now I think it's actually time to get something done here. Okay. Did we get him? No, not quite. Get the Banshee in here. Okay, making a right side push. I think nobody's here on this right side anymore, so we can try to peek and uh, help out the team. Saw so enemy's laser coming from down there. He's dead, though. Great. And here's my friend, the Banshee. Come on! He's almost down. Get that Banshee. All right. Uh, but stay on the high ground. Because that's where our enemies are. Yep. Hello, little one. Hey, Mr. Kid Fox. On the Kid Fox. On the Black Knight. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Aubrey, don't go for me, please. Ooh, that's scary. No. No. Nah, come on. Are you coming or not? He is... He is moving slightly. But there's also stuff happening right around the corner. So let's... Oh, that wasn't intended. Uh, let's go around here. And see if we can. That's a Hellbringer, man. Get some damage in. Come on, Hellbringer. Gonna bring hell to you. Oh, boy. We are on the back of this Marauder, too, though. So that's a thing that we can utilize. Just stay completely on him. Nice. It's four and four. And I'm the one on the front line. I don't like it. No, please go away. <laughs> Here comes a Victor. Oh, wait. He's running. Hi, Hellbringer. What about you? I think he's dead. That's what he is. Okay, okay, okay. Super, super risky. No, 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 no. My right side torso needs to stay. Guys, don't run. Stay in the fight, please. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm not happy with that. Get the rocker. Twist it. That side torso is about to pop. And with that, my damage output. I think we also lost uh, two rotary auto cannons already. All right, let's, uh, let's try to get the best out of this. I mean, we still have one cannon. We still have four lasers, and our enemies are half dead. All right, Kid Fox. Bushwalker. That's not helping. And that's my side torso. Down! And you know what? I can try to delay the kill. Come on, shoot me again. Shoot me. I'm, I'm basically a stick anyway. Center torso. Yep, 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 yep. I want to help. Maybe we can... Yeah, we can just delay it by using all of our armor. Go for me. Come on. Take me. Try to take me. Come on, buddy. Yep, it's fine. Here's the Kid Fox. My small lasers are, funnily enough, still there. <laughs> still have the smalls. Can we actually get a kill on this guy? Why is he not shooting anything else? He has pulse lasers. He's overheating? Okay. 
more lasers for the win. But um, <laughs> twenty six percent. <laughs> That's insane, man. The delay, the tanking, the torso twisting, and just attracting fire. I think it gave my team the time that they needed to finish that game. Holy crap. We got a killing blow. We got 10 assists, 3 kill, kill most damage dealt, 765 damage done, 700 taken, and 1 component destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Viridian Bug. We are playing Skirmish, and we are well, trying to get to the high ground. We can maybe set up a good firing position on the, uh, like, Echo 5 high ground and see what's going on there. Um, I mean, ideally, we will try to counter NASCAR, just uh, finding enemies when they are coming in one by one. But, um, yeah, it all depends on what my team is doing here. We'll, we'll see what's going on. Shall we just hold Echo 5 left side? Just hold it there. Let the enemies come in one by one, and then we kill them. Then we'll probably just do that. Sounds good. Yeah, but we, we, need, we need to really stay there and, um, you know, hope for her for the best. What's our pitch angle, by the way? It's actually quite okay. I like it. Oh no, enemies are showing up on the radar already. Uh, that means that some people might just get attracted to that radical there. Uh, to that uh, rectangle there. Not radical. Uh, rectangle. But mm, let, let's see. So, important thing is, mm, don't go too far, buddy. Don't go too far. Just hold it here on this side, and um, then we are fine. Absolutely fine. Absolutely glorious. So, that's what we're going to be doing. I mean, those people are already kind of pop-tarting and sniping, and there's a guy already. Hi. That Jaguar is absolutely too close here. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Popping up a UAV. I want to see what's going on. I Wrong button. It's coming in again? Yeah, he's coming in again. Hey, I, I got rocks. What do you have? You got some stuff, huh? I got some stuff as well. And we messed him up. Okay. Yeah, just hold it. We need just a bit of uh, firepower here and then we can win this game. Uh, but people are kind of rotating away. Go ahead, shoot your weapons. Alright, here we go. On the Cyclops. Actually, on the Rifleman in uh, behind him. Get that Rifleman down. We need to. There we go. Good job. That's a kill. Keep it up. And now I'm gonna go in again. I'm gonna get that Stormcrow. Stormcrows are squishy. Stormcrows are easier to kill. And uh, the problem is that we are kind of jammed. So I'm gonna leave it to the frontliners to do the frontline job for the moment until I am unjammed again. Just keep it up. Hold the line. We have him almost down. There we go. Keep it up. Um, I am in no position to fight here. That's a very messy fight that we have. On the Warhammer. Get the Warhammer Hotel. Center torso is open. Gotta unjam. Oh, actually. Oh, sorry. That's a very messy fight, but you see, this is working on the low ground now. Low ground is getting overrun. Uh, we need more people here on this. Oh, 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 this is not good. This is not looking great. How do we... How do we win this? How do we stay alive? There's a big skirmish going on on the other side of the battlefield. Um, mm, I need cover. I need this direwolf to help me out a bit. Oh, actually, let's wait for them to come up. Hi. Oh, the combo. Can we? Yeah, we got him. That's next is the Vapor Eagle. Rock it up. Good damage. So, I need to unjam my things again. Do we? Yeah, we got... Oh, no, he's still fighting. Let's get that kill real quick. Got him. Uh, it's an 8 and 3 scenario. My Dire Wolf. <gasps> no, we got my Dire Wolf body. My battle body is down. Oh, no. All right, on the Rock Walker. Rocks versus Rocks. Who has the stronger ones? Um, I think I destroyed something. Oh, 10 and freaking 3. See, guys, you don't have to rotate. You don't have to do that all the time. Um, where's the where's the Vape Eagle? He's just sitting down there, right? Yup. Ooh, artillery. Good artillery for him. Okay, let's go. Get him! Kill! What? Is he still alive? No, he got downed. <laughs> so, last guy is a Locust, and he is running a single snob nose PPC. He's also lagged now. Good job. That was amazing, guys. That was really good. My mech is basically done for, but we still have ammo. We still have a lot of ammo, actually. And um, every weapon system is still there. Cool. We had 900 damage. We got uh, 625. Yeah, the team damage. It was so messy on the high ground there. But we got 4 KMDDs, 3 killing blows, 6 assists, and 7 components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.